what the heck are you doing, Tim? <laughs> I am doing a very, very rudimentary test to figure out how much latent removal that this unit is actually doing. I'll show you the math behind it. First, let me tell you a little bit about the reason why I was there. Uh, this house is right on the water here on Oak Island, and it was built about 30 years ago. And go figure, they've got humidity problems. Now there are a bunch of reasons why this house is having high humidity. But one of the reasons that I found is related to this return. It may be hard to see, but when you look inside the return, you see wood instead of metal. That's because this return is a panned joist, which means that they're using the joist cavity as your return duct. And those joist cavities leak very badly. And they don't leak to another conditioned space or a basement. They leak to the hot, humid, ocean-blasted weather outside. That's a problem. So was there a problem with this unit? Well, by doing the water test, I was able to quantify the latent removal, the moisture-removing capacity of the unit at that time. Here's some math. The 20-ounce water bottle filled up in 9 minutes. That's equivalent to 1.25 pints or 8.3 pints per hour. Multiply that by 1,050 and you get 8,715 per hour. Well, what would we expect to get out of a two-ton heat pump? 24,000 total BTUs is nominal, and a unit that is dehumidifying very well is about 70% sensible and 30% latent or moisture removal. So 30% of 24,000 is 7,200, but our unit was removing over 8,700. So what was the cause of all that moisture removal? I measured the dew point at the return grill at 58 degrees, but at the return plenum of the unit, it was 67. The unit has to be picking up moisture from those pan joists. The system is getting overwhelmed with moisture getting pulled from the leaky ducts, and that's less moisture that can be removed from the indoors. But that won't be an easy fix since all that return duct work is in the soffit under the house. So all that will have to get removed to access it. I also found other leaks in the envelope like HVAC penetrations, top plates that weren't sealed, and an attic access that was definitely leaking attic air into the space. But all those envelope leaks really need to be located by a blow door because there are some that won't be as visible. And if we're going to do air sealing, we really want to do a good job the first time. Most of the time, a humidity problem is not an HVAC problem. Rather, it's a building envelope problem. And I was able to rule out this HVAC unit very quickly using a simple bottle of water. Thanks for watching.